Hi everyone, welcome back to my case with this risky girl and today we're back with day five. Yes, <laughs> I was I'm gonna start losing track of this. Yesterday we tried the lovely Langatoon, the five-year-old, I think it was batch three, uh, which was absolutely delightful. I looked it up and it retails at 90 pounds. It's a 50 seal bottle, I think as well. I really like it and I'm just, I'm torn. A part of me says that I like it enough that I would buy it. But a part of me says, that's a lot of money. But it's also, it's just a higher strength. It's one of those tricky ones. It's kind of meets in the middle. Maybe if I have a few drams, then I'll definitely just go, go ahead and buy it because I really liked it. And I also don't have a Swiss whiskey at home. You see, you see my, my struggle. But moving on to <clears throat> today's whiskey. Uh, let's see if I can find the number five, is it? Yeah. Five. Why are they so tricky? Why can't I see them? Oh, there. Found it. Let's see if I can get this. I think I found a, a technique for it now. I say that, but yeah. Here we go. Oh, interesting. So this is a space aid number three. It's a six year old and it's the batch two. It's a single malt and it's bottled at 49.3% ABV. Let's have a little try. So this seems to be one of those other distilleries that you can really identify. The boutique company, that boutique whiskey company is quite fun though, because sometimes you can figure it out, especially if you listen to the tastings with Sam and Dave, which I can highly recommend. Dave and Sam are brilliant to listen to, especially in a combo. They are, seem like lovely people. I've never really spoken to them personally, but they just, they're great <laughs> and they're really funny. And yeah, I admire them, <laughs> but this, Usually on the labels, because they do have quite quirky, fun little labels, you can often get a little clue towards what the distillery might be. I think on one of the islas that they did, the label was like a boat race, and you could see that there was three different boats that had different colours that meant different things, and then I think it was distillery managers that were sitting in the boats, and I can't remember if it was the boat that was winning, if you knew who the distillery manager was, you could tell who what distillery it was, or if it was someone who was like hidden in the crowd on the beach, that was the distillery manager. And you could figure it out that way. It's it's really fun. I I think they're doing a lot of fun things with whiskey and I genuinely love to follow what they're doing. But let's have a little look on this. What did I say it was? A six year old, single malt. I can smell it from here. Let's have a little nose. Ooh. I don't know why, but immediately my brain said swamp, <laughs> and I don't know why, because the note's quite nice. It's quite like baked brown bread with a bit of ginger cookies and a fresh fruitiness and an orange, like orange ginger cookies. Let's have a little sip, Slangeva. Oh, it's quite sweet. I like that. Orange ginger cookies. I think that's what it's making me think of. It has that kind of spicy fruitiness. But also a bit of a, a crisp sweetness that makes me think of fructose. But also almost slightly of grain whiskey. Obviously this isn't grain whiskey, but it's that crisp note. If you've ever tried grain whiskey, <clears throat> that's quite sweet. You can kind of recognize this. The swampy feel on the nose is gone now. I think it's just that it was a, a bit foreign and uh, almost a bit gritty as well. I must say that so far I'm really, really enjoying these. Just having a mystery drum, not really knowing what I'm going to try. It's, it doesn't have a lot of bitter elements, it has a touch of a woody flavour. But it's very pleasant in the mouthfeel, which 
a lot of the whiskies I have tried lately haven't had that, so it's, yeah, these are showing up in a good light. I mean, there's a slight bitterness there, but only just to lift the other flavors. They've really done some good stuff with these. But those ginger, orange ginger cookies, and then a fruitiness, is very much like really estery crisp pears, but also almost like a plum, like a purple fruitiness. Fresh, quite juicy and sweet. So if you like those kind of space sides, then maybe you would like this. Also very sippable for the, the strength. What did I say it was? 49.3. Don't need any water. Very perfectly fine like this. And I wouldn't guess as a six-year-old, you, you don't really get any of that youthful notes. I mean, it's fresh and youthful in that way. So I guess you could say that you're getting the age coming through. But, I mean, this is the kind of whiskey that I really enjoy. The juiciness. I'd love a juicy dram. <laughs> I would love to hear if you like a juicy dram. Have you tried this Space Side number three, perhaps? The six year old? Or have you tried another boutique whiskey company that is dram? <laughs> what am I saying? Or have you tried another that boutique whiskey company whiskey that is your favourite? That's a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah, I, I really like this. Uh, it's going to be curious to find out how much it costs. And of course, I'll get back to you on that tomorrow. Um, I hope to see you then. I hope you are excited for Christmas. I mean, there's still plenty of days to go. But I am enjoying this. But I hope you'll have a lovely, lovely day. Slanjava, skola.